First exercise that we're going to perform for your knee protocol is known as ankle pumps. This exercise consists of to and fro movement of your ankle. This exercise should be done in lying down position. Move your ankle up, down, hold for a second, relax. Move your ankle up, down, hold for a second, relax. This exercise should be repeated 10 times. The second exercise after ankle pump is ankle rotation. You do this exercise in lying down position. You perform circular motions of your ankle joint clockwise followed by anti-clockwise. Rotate. One, two, three. Now anti-clockwise. One, two, three. You repeat this exercise ten times each. The third exercise in the knee protocol that we're going to perform today is called as a static quadriceps exercise. To perform this exercise, you need to lie down straight. You can use any prop like a towel roll or a soft ball to perform this exercise. Place the soft ball beneath your knee joint. Now try to press your knee joint onto the soft ball. Squeeze the ball. Hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do it one more time. Press the knee joint onto the ball. Squeeze the ball. Hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. This exercise should be performed ten times, holding for five counts each time we perform the exercise. The fourth exercise in the knee protocol that we are going to perform today is called as a VMO strengthening exercise. For performing this exercise, you need to use a prop like a soft ball or a towel roll. You perform this exercise in lying down position. Place the soft ball beneath your knee joint. Then try to extend or straighten your knee joint in the end of its ranges. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. This is also called as terminal extension of the knee joint. We'll perform it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. You perform this exercise ten times each. Each time you perform this exercise, hold for five counts exercise for the knee protocol that we perform is also for your VMO strengthening. For performing this exercise, you need to lie down straight, rotate your ankle inwards and raise your leg straight upwards to 45 degrees, then descend down slowly. You perform it one more time, rotate your ankle inwards, raise your leg upwards straight, 45 degrees. Descend down slowly, relax. This exercise needs to be performed 10 times on each side. The next exercise for the knee protocol that we perform today is called as a straight leg raise. To perform this exercise, you lie down straight. With your knee extended, raise your leg upwards, straight, up to 45 degrees. Hold for a second and then descend downwards. We'll perform it one more time. With your knee extended, raise your leg upwards, 45 degrees. Hold for a second, descend down straight and relax. You have to perform this exercise 10 times on each side. The next exercise for the knee protocol that we perform today is known as the static glutei exercise or the static hip muscle exercise. To perform this exercise, you start with your knees folded, then squeeze your hips and hold it tightly. One, two, 
three, four, five. Relax. Again, squeeze your hip joints. Hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. We perform this exercise ten times. Each time we perform this exercise, hold for five counts. The next exercise for the knee protocol that we perform today is called as a static adductor exercise. To perform this exercise, you start with both your knee folded. For performing this exercise, you need a prop like a pillow, a towel roll or a soft pole. Place the soft pole between your knee joint. Press the soft pole, squeeze it inwards and hold for 5 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. We perform the same exercise once again. Try to squeeze the soft ball between your knee joints. Hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. We perform this exercise ten times. Each time we perform this exercise, hold the ball for five counts. The next exercise that we perform in the knee protocol is called as the dynamic quadriceps exercise. To perform this exercise, be seated comfortably on a chair with your back supported. To perform this exercise, gradually extend your knee joint upwards up to 90 degrees. Hold for a count, then descend downwards and relax. We'll do it one more time. Gradually extend your knee joint up to 90 degrees. Hold for one count and relax. This exercise also can be performed onto various angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. On every angle you hold for a count. This exercise generally is to strengthen your quadriceps muscle. Every time you perform this exercise, you have to do it 10 times on each side. The next exercise for the knee protocol that we perform is known as the hip knee flexion exercise. To perform this exercise, be seated comfortably on a chair with your back supported. To perform this exercise, raise your hip joint in the upward direction with your knee folded at 90 degrees. Now this is a 90 degree angle. Raise your hip joint upwards, hold for a count and relax. We'll do it one more time. Raise your hip joint upwards, hold for a count, relax. Perform this exercise 10 times on each side. The next exercise for the knee protocol that we perform tonight is known as the scooting exercise. This exercise mainly is performed to improve the range of motion around your knee joint. To perform this exercise, be seated on the edge of a chair comfortably. To start with, slide your heel in the backward direction without raising your heel. Go forwards again. Slide your heel in the backward direction without raising your heel from the ground. Back again and relax. This exercise improves your range of motion around the knee joint. Exercise 10 times each. The next exercise in the knee protocol that we perform is known as the knee flexion exercise. This exercise is mainly used to improve the knee range of motion. To perform this exercise, be in standing position, take support from a chair or a standstill object. To start with this exercise, bend your knee backwards direction as far as possible and then slowly descend down. Then perform it one more time, bend your knee in backward direction as far as possible and then gradually descend down and relax. Perform this exercise 10 times on each side. 